Today in the Joy of Editing, I'm continuing to look at all of the filters in Nick Color Effects, and today it's the polarization filter. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Today, I want to show you a really great filter in Nick Color Effects, and that's the polarization filter. It's really going to help out your skies and remove some of the glare, even from the foreground. It even helps the overall contrast of the image. So we're going to get a look at that today. I have several different examples for you to show you how this works. It's a really easy filter to use here in Color Effects, as most of the filters in Color Effects are pretty simple and easy to use, but they're very effective. Now, traditionally, you would place a polarizing filter on your lens. It screws on the front of your lens, and I have some info on the screen right now telling you what it actually does. You may want to pause the video and read over this. The last point on the note, watch outs. A polarization filter that you screw on top of your lens, you can lose one to two stops of light, and it can look uneven when you're using an ultra-wide lens. That won't happen with the Nick polarization filter. That's great news. Well, let's go ahead and jump into the polarization filter. Now, I shot this image in Pittsburgh, PA, the Pittsburgh skyline here. I think I can really improve this sky with a polarization filter. Let's see. Right now, the polarization filter is off. Let me click right here and turn it on. Now, these are the default settings for the polarization filter. I'll shut it off. That's before, that's after. Already, you can see some improvement here. So what I like to do is start out with the strength. Take the strength slider and start to drag it to the right. See how that sky gets enriched, and you can start seeing the clouds a lot better? So I'm going to take it up to about here. And then what you want to do is work with rotate. Now, on a traditional polarization filter for your camera lens, it's going to have a rotate where you can rotate it to get the best look out of the filter. And we can do that right here. So you can move it to the left, move it to the right. And all you do is stop where you think it looks the best. And I think it looks the best maybe right about here. And then we can come and work with the strength some more. Do we want more or less? Let's give it a little bit more. I'm going to turn this up a good bit. Now, we can protect our shadows by dragging the slider to the right. In other words, if the shadows are getting too dark, too much contrast, we can move this to the right. And I think I will. I think I'll move this over to right about here. And you can also work with protecting your highlights if they're getting too light with this adjustment here. The default setting is 50. And I find for most images, that's usually pretty good. You don't usually have to touch it. Now, if the overall effect is too strong, don't forget you also have opacity. You could back it off a little bit if you think you need it. I'm going to leave it up to 100%. Now, let me shut off this filter. Here's before... And here is after, but look at that sky. We've brought out clouds here. We've reduced the glare in the water. The overall contrast of the image has come up in a beautiful way. So I highly recommend that you try out the polarization filters on some old landscape images. I think it'll really improve them. And let me know in the comment section below if you've used this filter before or if you're planning on trying it out in the future. I'd really love to hear from you. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This really helps to promote my channel and leave comments and questions. I love hearing from you. And now let's move on to another image. Now there's a lot of really cool clouds in here. And I also think that the polarization filter can help the trees and so on in the foreground. So let's see. Right now the polarization filter is off. I'll click right here to turn it on. Now these are the default settings. Let's start with strength. Let's drag this to the right and see what we can get. And I'm thinking maybe right about here, but look how it's affecting these trees in a really nice way. And now let's work with rotate. And I think maybe right here. Now let's work with our shadows. Let's see if we need to protect some of those. Let's move this to the right a little bit. Not too much on this one, maybe right about here. I think the highlights are good. Let me shut off the polarization filter. Here's before. And here is after, again, before and after. But I really like the improvement. Maybe I'll give it a little bit more strength. Maybe right about here. Let me shut it off. Here's before and here is after. And maybe I'll increase my shadow protection a little bit more. Maybe right up to here. Again, before and after. I really like it. And now let's try it out on this image. This was an image I shot up at Lake Erie along exposure. 
Let me go ahead and turn on the polarization filter by clicking right here. I was really going for that smoothed out water effect in this image, and I love what happens to the clouds as well. They get nice and soft. I'll start by pulling up the strength a good bit, maybe over to right about here. We can always come back to this later. Now let's work with rotate. You see how easy this is to use? And maybe right about here, those clouds really come out. Let's protect the shadows a little bit. Take the shadow slider to the right, maybe over to right about here. And I think the highlights are good. Now let's take a look at the before and after. I'll shut off this filter. Here's before. And now here is after a really great improvement. I love the overall contrast increase. We've reduced a lot of glare in the water here and the clouds come out a lot better. Again, I'll shut this off. Here is before and here is after. Now let's see what the polarization filter can do on this image. I'll turn it on and I'll increase the strength a good bit here. Let's take it over to maybe right about here. Let's really turn it up on this one and let's work with rotate. And I think right there, let's protect our shadows just a little wee bit. Let's move this over to maybe right about here. Now, I love what's happening down here in the uh, field right here and in the trees. Let me shut this off. Here's before and here's after. Again, before and after. I really like this result. And now we're on the last example. This is a stock image, and I thought this would be an interesting one to try the polarization filter out because we have a lot of haze back in here. Let's see if we can cut through some of that with the polarization filter. We could always choose clear view, but I think the polarization filter is going to help out the sky and also this area here. So let's find out. I'll go ahead and turn it on. Now, again, these are the default settings. Let's really pull up the strength and see what we get. And I'm going to take it up a good bit. Let's come up to maybe right about here. But look how it's cutting through that haze. You see that? Now, it looks really dark up here. But let's work with rotate first, and then we'll go to shadows. So first off, we'll do rotate and see what we can find. And I think maybe it looks most natural maybe right about here. Now, let's work with shadows. Let's pull up on the shadow protection slider to maybe right about in here. Now, I think that's a really good improvement. Let's play with highlights a little bit. And I may just protect these highlights down here just a little bit more, maybe right about there. Now, let me shut off the polarization filter. Here's before and here's after. Now, that's a really good improvement. Now, we'd probably have to do some more adjustments on this image, maybe even Add a clear view filter on top of this and see what that could do to help improve it even more. I went ahead and added a clear view filter to it. I'll shut it off. Here's before clear view and here's after. And I just gave it a slight amount of intensity. And now I like it even more. Now let's look at an overall before and after with split compare. I'll click this button right here. We started out here and now we end up here. So I think that's quite an improvement on this image. There it is, everyone. That was the polarization filter found in Nick 8 Color Effects, part of Nick Collection 8. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, please give this video a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe. Click the bell notification icon. Click all so you'll receive all notifications. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly, and I will see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.